A new weapon from Israel has shocked the world's militaries. No, it's not a bigger bomb or a faster jet. It's something that changes the rules of war itself. And today, we are going to explain what it is, why it matters, and why every army on the planet is now paying very close attention. If you follow military news, you've heard about game changers before. But this is different. This isn't just a new piece of gear for soldiers. It's a new way of thinking about the entire battlefield. It's like the world was playing checkers, and Israel just introduced chess. The goal isn't just to be stronger anymore, it's to be smarter and so much faster that the other side can't even move. So what exactly has Israel built? At its heart, it is a brain, a very, very fast artificial brain for defense. For years, the big problem in modern war has been what they call saturation attacks. That means sending so many drones, missiles, or rockets at once that the defense system gets overwhelmed. It's like trying to catch a hundred balls thrown at you all at the same time. A human can't do it. Old computer systems couldn't either. But Israel's new system can. It is built to handle the chaos. Imagine a shield that doesn't just block attacks, but sees them coming, understands what they are, and knocks each one out of the sky with perfect timing all at once. That is the promise of this technology. And from what we've seen in tests, it's not just a promise, it is working. This system has a name, the Iron Beam. You might have heard of Israel's Iron Dome, which shoots rockets out of the sky. The Iron Beam is the next step. Instead of using expensive missiles to intercept every threat, it uses lasers. Yes, laser weapons. They are silent, they are incredibly fast, and each shot costs almost nothing, just the price of the electricity to power it. Think about that. Instead of firing a million dollar missile at a thousand dollar drone, you can use a few dollars worth of laser light. The math changes everything. But the laser itself is only the tool. The real magic is in the system that controls it. That is the artificial intelligence, the AI. This AI is what has everyone so shocked. Here's why it's such a big deal. In a traditional air defense system, there are many steps. First, a radar sees something. Then an operator looks at the screen to confirm it's a threat. Then they decide what to do. Then they give an order to fire. Then a missile launches. All of that takes precious time, minutes sometimes. In modern war, a drone can hit its target in seconds. By the time a human understands what's happening, it can already be too late. Israel's new system takes the human out of that critical first loop. The AI does it all. The radar sees the threat. The AI identifies it instantly. That's a drone. That's a rocket. That's a mortar shell. It calculates the path, decides the best way to stop it, and commands the laser to fire. All of this happens in less than a second. The human operators are still there, watching and in control, but they are not slowing the process down. The machine can react at machine speed. This is what people mean when they talk about a revolution. It's not about the laser beam. It's about the decision-making beam that controls it. This matters for Israel because of its unique situation. The country is small. Its cities are very close to its borders. For years, groups like Hamas and Gaza and Hezbollah and Lebanon have fired thousands of simple, cheap rockets. The Iron Dome has been a lifesaver, literally. But intercepting thousands of rockets is incredibly expensive. You can't keep that up forever if your enemy has a lot of cheap rockets. The Iron Beam offers an answer. It provides a bottomless magazine. As long as you have power, you have a defense. It turns a war of money and supplies into a war of wills and technology. But the shock for the world is not just about defending against homemade rockets. The scary part for other militaries is what this system means for their own advanced weapons. Think about the most expensive tools a modern army has. Stealth fighter jets that cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Or hypersonic missiles that fly faster than sound. These are weapons built to be unstoppable. Now imagine a system that doesn't care how fast something is or how well it hides. The AI is looking at data from many different sensors. Radar, heat sensors, cameras. A stealth jet might be invisible to radar, but its engine still creates heat. The AI can put all these clues together in a split second and say there is something there and it is a threat. Then it can aim a laser that moves at the speed of light. There is no missile to outrun. The attack is instant. This means that weapons that took decades and billions of dollars to build might become useless overnight. 
That is the shock wave going through global defense departments. If a small country like Israel can build a system that can do this, then the whole balance of power starts to shift. And Israel isn't stopping at lasers in the air. They're putting this smart AI brain into everything. This is the second part of the shock. This isn't a single weapon for one job. It's a new way of connecting everything on the battlefield. On the ground, Israeli tanks and armored vehicles are getting this technology. Right now, a tank crew has to see a threat to shoot it. They are humans with good eyes, but they get tired, they get scared, they can miss things. In the new system, the vehicle itself is covered in sensors. It can see in every direction all the time. The AI inside can spot an anti-tank missile hidden behind a wall or a mine buried in the road. It can warn the crew or even fire its own weapon to destroy the threat before the crew even knows it's there. It turns every tank from a powerful gun into a smart, aware fortress. At sea, Israeli warships are getting this same upgrade. The oceans are big and empty, which makes it hard to see small, fast boats or underwater drones. The new AI system can watch the water and the air constantly. It can see a tiny drone flying low over the waves 10 miles away and decide if it is a threat. It can then tell a nearby patrol drone to go check it out, or it can prepare a laser to disable it. It creates a giant, intelligent bubble of safety around the ship. This is the real breakthrough. Connection. All these parts, the laser bases, the smart tanks, the warships, they are all talking to each other. They share what they see instantly. It creates one big shared picture of the battlefield for every soldier, sailor, and pilot. In war, information is the most powerful weapon of all. This system gives Israel more information faster than anyone has ever had before. Of course, with great power comes great worry. This technology makes many people nervous. The big question is about control. What happens if the AI makes a mistake? What if it sees a civilian passenger plane as the threat? Israel says the human is always in the loop to make the final deadly decision. But the system is designed to be so fast that a human can barely keep up. In a real crisis, would a commander trust the machine's instant advice? Or would they wait and risk being hit? This is a new kind of pressure. There's also the fear of an arms race. If Israel has it, other countries will want it or will want something to beat it. Russia, China, the United States, and others are now racing to build their own AI-powered laser defenses. Some are trying to build even faster missiles to beat the system. Others are building huge swarms of tiny drones, hoping to overwhelm it with numbers. The technology that was built to stop wars could end up making a new, more dangerous competition between superpowers. But for Israel, the calculation is simple. They live in a tough neighborhood with real enemies who have vowed to destroy them. They don't have a lot of people, and they don't have a lot of land. Their only lasting advantage has always been their mind, their ability to invent, to adapt, and to think ahead. The Iron Beam and the AI Battle Network are the ultimate examples of that. It's a technology born of necessity. When you have no other choice, you find a new way. For the rest of the world, the message is clear. The future of war is not about who has the most soldiers or the biggest bombs. It is about who has the smartest systems. It's about data, speed, and artificial intelligence. A small, smart force with this technology can stand against a much larger, older army. This changes everything for global security, for how countries spend their defense money, and for what it means to be safe. The age of the thinking battlefield is here. Israel has built it first. The world is watching, learning, and already trying to catch up. This is not science fiction anymore. It is real, it is here, and it works. The rules of war just changed.